Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing and the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your host, Angie Scott and Barb Perry. Warning, this 5-Minute Friday episode is also a video episode. If you want to experience the ultimate effect, watch on Waypoint TV or on our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or on thewomanangler.com. Welcome to another episode of 5-Minute Friday. This is Barb Carey, and today we're talking about shore fishing. Shore fishing has been a very popular topic. Ice is gone or almost all gone and people are getting out fishing from shore like crazy, especially because everyone's going stir crazy with all the weird stuff happening in the world. So I'm just going to do some quick tips for you. You got to have a system to haul your stuff. This little beach cart that um, this belongs to Ricky actually You have to get all your stuff to where you're going. So this is a great setup for a lot of places that you go to fish. But sometimes it's not practical to be taking a big cart like this. So this is what I use. I just have this little rod holder. I can carry it with one hand. In my other hand, I'm going to have my minnow bucket in a five gallon pail, which is also going to be my seat. So I can traverse down pathways and trails and get into areas that aren't necessarily easy that you could get a cart into. So find a way to get your stuff together, even if you have one of these ace bandages just to wrap around them. Next I'll show you how the rods are set up. So in the spring when we're walleye fishing, a lot of times we're fishing in rivers with current. So there's a couple different kinds of setups you want. You want to wait that when the fish take the bait, they can't feel this. It sits on the bottom of the river, it holds in the current. The fish will start taking this hook and uh, they're not gonna feel that weight. If you had a big weight clamped right to the line. I like using colored hooks. Sometimes uh, this is a little variation of the same thing. This is real popular barge fishing. This hook glows in the dark. Sometimes I'll put a uh, little glow in the dark bead here as an attractant and just uh, fish with the minnow. The distance between this leader sometimes matters. If your buddy's catching fish and getting bites and you're not getting any, find out how long this leader is because sometimes that makes a difference. That's going to determine where that minnow is swimming around in the water. Sometimes they like shorter ones, sometimes they like longer ones. It just kind of depends on the mood of the fish. Let the mood of the fish tell you. I like fishing with braided high visibility line. As you can see, this rod is in the water. That is a bright orange line. So I'm going to be watching that rod tip and the color line makes it so much easier to uh, watch it. Today we're fishing in Montello, Wisconsin and this is a really nice shore fishing area set up here. If this place was packed, I'm not going to fish with three rods, even though I'm legally allowed to. I want to make sure that my fellow anglers have plenty of room to fish too, and uh, kind of try to take up as least amount of room as I can. If I'm here by myself, I'm going to spread out as far as I can to cover more water. So a lot of times what will happen is when you get a bite, what I'll be doing is I'll be watching the rod tip, and you'll just see the rod tip go a tick, tick, tick. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to reel any slack out. From billion dollar ad budgets and arena naming rights to tens of thousands of retail locations, big wireless providers spend big to appear like they're your only option. How do they afford it all? (laughs) That big bill you get at the end of every month. Mint Mobile had a different idea. Instead of brick and mortar overhead, Mint Mobile is online only. What does that mean for you? A whole lot of savings because wireless plans from Mint Mobile start at just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just $15 a month. You'll save enough that you can get a brand new rod and reel for the upcoming season. For anyone who just hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. All plans come with unlimited talk, 
text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan, and you can even keep your same phone number along with all of your existing contacts. By going online only and eliminating traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash waypoint. That's mintmobile.com slash waypoint. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash waypoint. I'm going to wait to feel that tick, tick, tick. I'm going to wait for that walleye to um, kind of let me feel it in my rod tip and then I'm going to give a good hook set and reel it in. So uh, if you have this basic setup pretty much anywhere for spring walleye fishing right now, you can fish for catfish like this. Obviously it's a little overkill for bluegills, but you can really fish for any species with this type of setup. The kind of minnows we're using today are fatheads or rosies. These rosies actually look like goldfish, but it's just kind of a orange colored uh, um, fathead I thought I was getting by here. So I'm just gonna take this hook and go right under the chin and right up through, that's all I'm gonna do right now, is just go right up through the chin and up. Now, another variation of this is to use, instead of a regular hook, to use a floating jig head. Now, if you're hooking the minnow on a floating jig head, you hit it, you hook it the opposite, you go from the top down. And if you just let that floating jig head float in the minnow bucket, you'll see, you want that to make sure that that minnow is floating upright as it's, um, you know, as the, as the floating jig head is floating there. So double check that, how they, how they look when they're just hooked on. You want them to look natural. One of my favorite rods to um, fish, shore fish, is this long nine foot rod. And this may seem like overkill, but there's a lot of places that we fish that have a bunch of rocks and a bunch of snags. So when I cast this out, when I'm pulling it back, I can lift it way up in the air and start reeling and that line is gonna come way up and it's gonna avoid all those snags. So when everyone else is retying and getting stuck and snagged up, I'm able to come right over all those snags. You can also, this is such a versatile rod, I use this for shore fishing, for salmon, for steelhead fishing, and shore fishing for walleye. So, and this rod is actually nine feet long, one of my favorites. It's a St. Croix Avid, it's a nine foot six medium light power with an extra fast action tip. Because I'm when this is sitting in the rod holder, I'm going to be watching that rod tip up there, and you're not going to get a whole lot. If you look up at the rod tip there, you know, all you're going to get is like a little tiny twitch to the... So you want an extra fast action rod tip for that. I do, personally, anyway. So these long rods, you can cast really a lot farther. What I'm looking for here in this situation, it's not necessarily how far you cast. It's where the current seams are. Whenever there's current, it's going to draw fish in. And you can see the river's going downstream, but there's areas close to the pier that the water is actually flowing in the opposite direction. So finding those seams where the current boat switches from one way to the other, that's the area that holds a lot of fish. And those are the areas you want to try to cast to. So I hope on this 5-Minute Friday you've got some tips, and when you're off work and reeling in from this big virus scare, maybe you can get out and catch some fish and have a little mental health therapy.